I'm the ICT specialist for Penang Telecom. I'm one of the two senior engineers. Um, I design, build um, networks, wireless networks, large phone systems, lots and lots of different things that Penang do. Penang Telecom was established the same year as I was born, 1976, so they've been around for 34 years now. Um, we're an independent um, provider of um, various different systems, telephone systems, radio systems, wireless, networks, just about everything that any, any company would need. Um, we partnered with Avaya and Motorola and Extreme Networks and um, like people like Opal and all the tele telecoms like um, Orange and O2 and things like that. Um, and provide systems and help companies. It's mainly the bigger projects, so we've got a project at the moment for a local college. It's Bolton College, Bolton Community College. They're having a huge network, so it's going to be a very large network, um, big phone system and then a wireless network to sit on top of that, so um, it would be designing, building and then installing that system. Um, I'd probably mainly do the network for that one, it's going to be 92 extreme switches all around this huge new building. So it'll be designing all of the LANs and the VLANs and all the routing for the whole of the network. And then installing it and getting it ready. And make sure it all works. This is fairly typical of the work that Penine do, um, large projects like this. Um, we do do lots of other smaller projects with just individual bit, bits of this. But yeah, this is the kind of thing that Penine do. Very early on, I was always a technical child, so I was playing with Lego and building things, then moved on to technical Lego and building cars with gears and um, various other suspensions, bits and pieces like that. So it's always been very technical. And my dad had an office at home as well. So he had um, a very early PC, a 286 PC, an IBM PC. So from then onwards, and then having a ZX Spectrum like everybody does, and doing some programming in basic, that moved on. and. As we got PC, home PCs and we were upgraded that and then it just spiralled from there. Always been into computers, so um, I did IT at GCSE. Went on to uh, sixth form and did maths, physics and computation. Then I went on to UMIST, uh, which is now part of Manchester University, and did computation there as well. Uh, after finishing university, I went to work um, as IT support at a big call centre, local to where I live. After about a year there, I, I took on um, the network, all the servers and systems, and then took on the phone system. Our maintainer for the phone system was Pennine Telecom. So after about three years of working with Pennine and them helping with the phone system there, I came to work for Pennine. So um, I've been here for seven years now. I think it's more about enjoying it. I think all the engineers here do enjoy what they do. Um, I definitely do, and I find it interesting. That's what keeps me um, wanting to be up to date and things like that. Penine have an apprentice scheme, so we have um, a, lot, a lot of apprentices that come through. As long as they are willing to do the work and to learn, then we're very happy to take them on, and um, they've done very well out of it. We've got some really good en engineers out of it. Um, at the higher end, we're looking for people who, who know the systems and, again, are willing to put the work in and and do well for Pennine. Pennine are very good at um, providing training for us. Um, the, 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 with all technology, new systems come out all the time, so we have to keep up to date, and Pennine are very good at doing that. Most of the qualifications I have now, besides my degree, are from working at Pennine. I think the Royal Academy project is very important um, to raise the profile of engineers, to be able to get over the idea that engineers aren't just people who are designing and building things, and there are actually so many other um, engineering disciplines um, to kind of get across the idea that you, it's not just about, like I say, building and design things, it's, it's about the computers, it's about technical things, it's about chemistry and biology and all the different things. I think it's very important that young people are encouraged to think about science and engineering. The science and engineering community are the people who actually design, the build, the cure things. It's the people who, who develop the world really and I think it's very important for the UK to be very strong in this it keeps us um, as a big player in the world. An engineer is somebody who uses their knowledge of mathematics, scientific knowledge, technical knowledge 
to provide something or to create something. And in myself, I do really enjoy being an engineer.